from bodybrush.com. Well, it's a shaving brush. Well, actually, it's a shaving brush handle with three shaving brush knots. Wait until you see this coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeStune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by. Really do appreciate you sharing your time with me. We've got a brand new shaving brush, or maybe I should call it a shaving brush system, in the shave den from BodyBrush.com. They very, very kindly sent it for review. Really, really neat. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, Welcome, make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we've been talking about BodyBrush.com and all the great shaving gear that they offer on the Monday Morning Mailbag, uh, and uh, they very kindly sent this uh, from BodyBrush. This is a shave handle with three shaving nuts. Now, let me show you the handle. It's a beautiful wooden handle. Look at this. Absolutely spectacular wooden handle. Check out that. Let's put this down so you can see that right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that absolutely? I love this pattern and this design. Absolutely beautiful. I'll have a link to the bodybrush.com site. I believe this is one of the first images you see up there. And inside, look at that. There is some threading. Why is there threading there? Well, they also provided three shaving brush knots of varying sizes right here. And, uh, well, let's take a look at these right here. Let's take the wrapper off. Okay, take the wrapper off right here. Oh, look at that. Huh? How about that? And there is the threading right there. So what happens is, if you want to use this size brush, you just screw that right in like that. How about that? How about that? I would guess this is probably maybe a 22 millimeter, 23 millimeter size knot, maybe a little more, maybe it's 24, I'm not entirely sure, it's not labeled. However, that's, it's got some nice backbone, it splays out rather nicely, how about that? Okay, you want to use something a little different, okay, let's set this one aside, set it over here like this, and then uh, let's check out, uh, let's see, check out this one right here, okay. This one right here, okay? Yeah, there we go. One's about the same size, maybe a little larger, I think, to my eye. Screw that one in, and now you've got another brand new brush. How about that, huh? And this one, yeah, this one is, this one's nice too. This one is really, really terrific. I like it. Again, nice backbone, splays nicely, real nice softness, real nice softness. Here it is next to this one right here first one. You can see it's a little larger, so I think that this one here is probably maybe 22, 23. This one looks to be 24, something like that. Okay, how about that? Okay, we'll set that one aside, and we will unscrew this again. Okay, all right, there it is. We'll set that one aside, and here we have, well, don't want that all the sink. Here we have this nut right here. Now check this one out. Hey, how about that? Ooh, this one is uber, uber soft. This one looks to be a 26 millimeter knot. And this one, this one is really luxuriously soft. Beautiful. And a nice splaying on it. Really, really nice. And you just screw that in there like that. And look at the brush you have with this knot. How about that? This one is silky, silky smooth. And this is the one we're going to shave with right here. Now, I'll have links to bodybrush.com and also their discount codes below that they've provided. So uh, we're going we're gonna to use this one right here. We're going to get some warm water right here, and we're just going to let that soak. Now, that is a wooden handle, so I'm not going to let it soak too long because I don't know how how it's treated. I'll have to find that, get that information from them. I've been messaging them back and forth. And there is a time difference between uh, our two countries. I believe they're in China. Uh, so they will um, hopefully get back to me 
uh, and in answering some of these questions, and I'll post the answers either in the description below or on screen, depending on, on how things go. We are going to use Parasso Green. We got some hot water in the puck. Haven't used Parasso Green in a long, long time. Viewer Jamie Horn very, very kindly sent along some Parasso samples, as well as some other really neat stuff that we'll be talking about down the road, so stay tuned. But here are some great pre-shaves, aftershave balm, and some nice shaving cream. But for this shave, because I haven't used it in a while, we're going to use some Parasso pre-shave cream right there. And we are going to use uh, <laughs> my Mercur Futur uh, razor. I have not used this adjustable razor in a long, long time. Way overdue, so we're going to use this razor right here, and we're going to use a blade that I haven't used in a long, long time. My Voskhod, right here, yeah. So let's get that loaded up right now, and we'll just take that off like that, and we'll open up this wrapper. These are double wrapped, all right? Teflon coated, that's really, really terrific. Okay, so we're going to have kind of an eclectic kind of... Uh, shave here a lot of different a lot of different elements from a lot of different uh, brands which is uh, kind of neat so let me get this off here like this and then let's take this right here there's the blade and you just set it in set it right there like that right there on the base and then i make sure that the numbers and the and the, and the hash mark are facing me and the indentation of the cap okay is to the right of that. So that's how I like to load my, there it is. All right. And we're going to start at uh, level three. Boy, that's getting up there. But you can see the balance and alignment. Absolutely beautiful. Really? I mean, look at that. That's fantastic. And of course, the end tabs are enclosed in the razor head. Beautiful heft to this razor. I like the indentation on the handle. It does aid in giving you a nice grip. And again, three is probably the upper limit <clears throat> Upper limit for me. We have, I have, two days worth of beard growth here. Can you see that? Yeah. So I wanted to have a little more beard growth, first of all, to demonstrate the uh, coverage of this particular shave brush. I have taken it for a test drive and kind of repackaged stuff up. Terrific. <laughs> wonderfully, wonderfully soft. But I also want to use it in a smaller bowl. See how that brush now works in this Parasso bowl. I also wanted to use something that is more widely known for the entire viewing audience, give you an idea of how this brush performs with a Parasso or a Tabak. We're going with Parasso. And the reason why we're going with Parasso is because Jamie very kindly sent along these samples. Uh, we're going to finish it off, not with Parasso, but with European Brute. Yeah, this will be really nice. This will this will finish it off nicely. And for upstairs, some Burt's Bees aftershave balm. So we're not going to delve into the Parasso balm just yet. We're going to set these aside for another shave. And I'm going to take these knots. I'm going to set these aside as well and get those out of the way. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wet the face and get to the shave. So let me just tear this guy open here. I think that's what I have to do. Tear it open. Gosh, I hope so. This is the first time I've ever used Parasso pre-shave like this. Yeah, just tear it. I'm just gonna tear that open. I think that's how. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay, that's. You'll probably get maybe two uses out of this. It looks like. Oh boy, that's terrific. I haven't used Parasso pre-shave in a long time. Boy, this hits the spot. Boy, that menthol and eucalyptus really, really sing. I'm going to get a little more. And again, I have enough in there, probably for one more shave. So if you're traveling, you take a couple of these, and you're good for your weekend getaway. All right. Terrific. Terrific. Let's get the um, the hot water off of this Parasso Green. Let's dump that in there like that. Let's get the brush. Here it is right here. All right. The knot is nice and solid. Just screw it right in and it's terrific. 
we're going to go ahead and load the brush. Oh, look at that. It fits in there very nicely. Not a problem at all because of the, you know, it's wet and the hairs come together. Okay, so we're just going to load this up, get a nice brush load, get a little more water. Nice brush load. Okay, look at that. Okay, okay, I think we're ready to go. Look at that. I think we're ready to go. This, is a this knot is terrific. Oh, man, is that a nice soft knot. Wow. Needs a little water. The hairs on this are just, they're a little finer than some other hairs uh, that I've experienced with some other shaving brushes. And I think that's, I think that, that slightly thinner quality about the, the density of it packed together gives it its softness. That's just a guess on my part. Wow. And I, <laughs> I love, 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 love this, uh, this kick, this menthol eucalyptus kick from Parasso Green. Boy, am I glad to use this. Haven't used it in a while. Okay, so we are using my Phoenix Shaving Brush Scuttle, so this will stay nice and warm in the brush scuttle right there. And it was nice and warm coming out of the Parasso tub. Okay, so here we are with the um, Mercure Fruit 2. Now, if 3 is a little bit too much for me, I might turn it down. Just a tip. Uh, whenever you adjust the Mercure Futur, you have to be very careful not to grab it here unless your hands are really, really dry. Uh, because if they slip, you're going to hit these, you know, you're going to hit the blade edge. If that, if that, if your fingers slip, you know, it'll, it'll go like that, right? I'm just like that, right? <laughs> Got to be careful. What I like to do is I like to put it against my palm and then adjust it that way, flat against my palm. All right, there's the hash mark there. And then that way, I'm assured of not uh, nicking my finger. And I am going to, again, I've got it at three. I don't know if you can see that. It's at three. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. One of the first, one of the first top-end razors in my collection. I bought this one used from a fellow wet shaver. He only used it once. He didn't care for it. Uh, I love it. I really do. Oh. Wonderful. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor use. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> I'm excited. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's nice blade feel. And yeah, three is it. Three is the top. Boy, that is nice and smooth. That is nice and smooth and moves out of the way very nicely. But boy, this brush did a great job of generating lather. Boy, this is this is terrific. This blade, this Voskhod blade, it's a good blade, it really is. Two days worth of growth, doing a great job. Now this is where a lot of uh, a lot of wet shavers uh, take issue with the Mercur Futur because the razor head is a little larger, so it may not get up underneath the nostrils as easily as some other razors that have trimmer, slimmer razor heads. It did okay. It did okay. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have to pick up the rest. 
on the East to West Pass. Hey, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Just a splash. Not quite in socially acceptable shave territory, but a good start. I do have two days worth of beard growth, let's face it. Uh, second pass is usually my money pass, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, generate some more lather here. Got enough in the knot. A little bit of water bringing that lather back. Look at that. Yeah, this brush is doing a nice job. I'm really, really excited to try the other two knots. You know, the interchangeability is very, very easy, as you saw. Just screw it in. Shave, you know, don't lather with it. Have your shave. Want to use another one? Unscrew it. Screw that new one in. And I know that there are others out there who have similar products. Phoenix Shaving has a similar product. This one is a little different. And I should really get the Phoenix Shaving product to compare the two. That looks like an excellent, excellent product as well from Phoenix Shaving. All right. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and, again, I'm going to adjust this with the palm of my hand. And I'm going to turn this down to about just under two and a half. Okay, just under two and a half. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to go with path number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that's a, that's a really nice lather. That brush is just super, super soft. Parasso providing a lot of nice slickness. Wow. Forgot how good this is. In case you're new to wet shaving and you're wondering, Parasso is a non-tallow soap. All right. A lot of nice slickness there where I can do that. All right, so here's where the challenge comes, trying to get the balance of those little bits up underneath the nostril with this razor head. So there are a couple of uh, little things you can do here to try to get there. Just here. Okay, you take the shorter end, and it's almost like you get it as close to your nostril as possible. And that's how you can get up there a little bit. You can see I probably am going into the nostril a little bit. The other way, I haven't, haven't used this in a long time. Yeah, the other way, it's this, this side where the notch is a little, little longer, so you want to use the shorter side. Just a little tip. It's kind of like the little, little tip and trick I picked up from using this. And uh, see, it did okay. It did okay. I'm probably going to need a third pass. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it up a little more on a third pass. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Just a splash. I need a third pass. Uh, could probably be a touch-up pass, but we're going to do a complete third pass. I want to show you how much lather this brush can bring out. I got a fairly good brush, though. I probably could have loaded a little more. But, you know, look at that. That's nice. A 
Okay, look at that. That's, that's terrific. Looks like I have plenty on the knot. Flow through is nice, but boy, this is really, really soft. Very, very soft. Again, the hairs are silky, silky soft. And again, they, they seem to have a finer quality and are packed together a little more densely. I think that's what gives it that really, really soft quality. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this down to about one and a half. Okay, one and a half right there. Okay, can you see that? I don't know if the, I don't know if the light is reflecting too much. And we're going to go with pass number three. We're, pass number three, we're going to go south to north against the grain. Boy, this is a wonderful laser. Provided I don't turn it up too much for my particular skin and beard. Now, if your beard is more demanding, know that you have another three notches you can go up. Okay. Well, when I get the short side. Okay, short side. One and a half is nice and mild. Really nice slickness. I'm going to do a little touch up, just a little touch up right here. Okay. Two reasons. Show you how much I got out of the knot again, but I think you know, just a little, two days worth of growth. Haven't used the Futur in a long time. Just want to make sure. Getting a lot of audio feedback means that I have some, some, uh, a little bit of whisker left there, but I think I got everything now, and I think it'll throw off that excess moisture and retract and give me a really, really nice result. Third pass, well, actually, third pass touch-up done. Uh, let's rinse. Yeah, that's a, that's, <laughs> that's a nice result. That really is. Really, really smooth and comfortable, but this brush did a beautiful job in providing me with a lot of lather. Now you saw how long it took me to load. Not long at all is what I'm saying. And it generated a lot of nice lather. Synthetic knots, in case I forgot to tell you, all three of these are synthetic knots, synthetic shaving knots. I apologize if I didn't mention that up front. These are synthetic shaving knots. All right, we're gonna go with my two final rinses. Here is my warm water rinse. All right, you're going to flip it to the cold water side. The uh, menthol and eucalyptus are really, <laughs> really going to kick in. I'm going to get a real, I mean, a really nice cold bracing from this. It's going to be a kick. Wow, looking forward to it. All right, cold water rinse. <laughs> nice kick. Very, very nice. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that was good. Man, that was a good shave. But that brush did a wonderful, wonderful job. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to using the other 
the other two knots. To see how they perform with Parasso, maybe one or two very, very mild zings. Terrific. Boy, that's smooth. Smooth as ice. Nice bracing. Great post shave feel from the uh, from the uh, Parasso shave soap. Oh, that's great. Now, with this one, because I don't have a dry dock for it, this one here we're going to dry off in the towel. Just block that dry, okay? And then uh, we're going to set it right here in its case like that and let that dry out. Well, it is dry. We'll let, just let it be there ready for the next shave. Okay, let's take a look at this brush. Okay, here, look, ooh, look at this, look how much I have. Okay, it's a little bit, okay. There you go, check that out, okay. Look at that, huh? And I'm sure if I did a little bit of this, a little agitation, we'll get a little thicker, creamier lather because there's a little bit of water there. This brush retained a little bit of water, which as you saw as I lathered my face, it got a little creamier, a little thicker, and that's what's happening here right now. So look, look at this, look at that. Now, now look at that. Check that out, huh? Isn't that nice, huh? Huh? That beautiful, beautiful. This brush did a great job. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean it right now so I can show you how well this particular knot cleans. We're going to go ahead and run under some warm water here, and I'm going to give it several good shakes. And uh, let you see how quickly and easily this knot cleans out. So there it is right there, okay? Just so you can see it. Most of the soap is already out. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give it a gentle squeeze here. Okay, that's got it. Okay, it's, it's still set in there very, very well. It has not moved at all. It has not unscrewed at all. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead, and it's right there, okay? We're going to give it a few uh, vigorous shakes. Just throw that excess water off. Did you hear that first shake, how much water was thrown off there? It retains a lot of water, and it's thrown off a lot of water here. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I'm just going to buff this a little bit. Okay, so here, take it out. Check it out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, probably, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, I would say that's about 90% dry. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. Yeah, I would say 90 to 95% dry. And, of course, we'll hang it up and uh, let it dry out the rest of the way. But, boy, this, this particular knot is really, really soft. I'll have more details on it uh, on screen in the description below. I have to hear from them. And again, there is a little bit of a lag in talking to them because of the time difference. So, we're going to go ahead and finish this off with Brut from Europe, courtesy of viewer Mark Bagwell. Thank you again, Mark. That's, that's a wonderful, <laughs> that's a wonderful finish. And again, a little bit of kick there. Could have used the uh, Parasso Green. I got a little bit of that left, but I really wanted to use the Brute. Kind of mix things up because with the uh, kind of like keeping in the theme of with the brush handle, you can kind of mix, pick and choose between those handles. So I'm kind of picking and choose between different um, brands of uh, products here. Here's Burt's Bees right here for aftershave balm. A little bit like that upstairs, right here like this. Gonna need a head shave. Oh, this is nice. Got some aloe vera. Not a bad scent. Not going to get in the way of the uh, the brute. It is its own scent though, but it's not going to get in the way of brute. Great shave. Really, really terrific shave. But more importantly, a really, really wonderful shaving brush. Check out that handle again. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. It fit in the hand so nicely. The uh, the handle, my, my second finger right here, just fit in that little crook right there so very nicely. And my pointing finger here just supported it. 
and it just fit in the hand so well. Check that out. And it just seems to be a beautiful size and it feels very natural in the hand. And again, what a beautiful pattern to this wooden handle. Absolutely spectacular. And three knots, they screw in, they're interchangeable. I mean, what's not to like? This is really a neat, neat product from the folks at BodyBrush.com. So my thanks to everyone at BodyBrush.com for sending this along. It is an absolutely spectacular, beautiful brush with a lot of utility and a lot of function. Just absolutely fantastic. I love this. And again, just give it a little... <laughs> there it goes, right? Okay, and you can just take this and, uh, well, you know, get another get another brush knot and put it on there and then screw it back in. We'll just screw this one back in and just, and that's it. And it sits in there very solid, very secure, doesn't unscrew, and it really develops and builds a beautiful, beautiful lather. And the handle is wonderful. So that's it. The body brush interchangeable screw-in shave knot brush. I don't know what they call it. <laughs> I've asked them for a link for this, for these knots and this handle. Hopefully it will be forthcoming. So as soon as I get that, I will put it in the description below. But get up to bodybrush.com and I'm sure that um, uh, clicking around you'll be able to find this. It's a really, really a neat, neat product. So again, my thanks to all the folks at bodybrush.com. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make some wonderful artisan shea soap. They offer some awesome, awesome wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. So when you get a chance, Please get up there online, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.